Hello, I am Nicole. And I am Taylor, and this is the Glitter and Cat Litter Podcast. And on this episode, we talk about Shake Shack, New mm-hmm. York, hockey, mm-hmm. and you are definitely not as good as these hockey players. <laughs> this will make more sense later. If you like what we're doing and you want to support us, you can sign up for a membership on glitterandcatlitter.com or on the YouTube channel. Um, please like it. Please share it with your friends. Subscribe. Do all the things if you want. Do none of the things if you want. Thanks for being here. Enjoy. I'm on my first coffee of the day. You're on your first coffee of the day. I'm on my like 94th coffee of the day. You would not be talking that slow if you're on your 94th cup of coffee. You might be wrong. Also, you hate cups of coffee. Espresso counts as a cup of coffee. Does it? No. It's like a shot of coffee. Um, You've had two shots of coffee. No, I've had three. You've had three? I've had three. When did you have the second one? I had the second one at lunchtime. This and then you just had another one? Yeah, this is my second lunchtime. Oh. Mm -hmm. I've had three. Yeah, because your lunchtime was at like 1130. Yeah, probably. And you had it early. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel like I'm just barely skirting by. (laughs) I've been kind of telling Taylor that he should up his coffee intake. And he... Can you put your microphone like like the cable so it's under the thing? What did did I do wrong? What do you you mean? You gotta line her up and put it under the... This? Oh my yeah, goodness. God. People so can't particular. Know, people can't know this stuff's plugged in. You got a cable going straight across your whole I think junk. they know that uh it's they don't, plugged they in. They don't they don't they don't know. How do you know they it's don't know? It's just magic. How do you know? Well, Podcast if magic. Well, if they're listening, they have no idea. You're right. You this are right. This room about could that. be garbage. There could just be <laughs> trash flying everywhere. Some would say that this room is full of trash. It's full of Legos. It's what is what toys. is trash about this? How uh, dare you call these Legos trash? Tura, is that trash? Yes. You're trash, okay? You're trash. How dare you? Um, how dare you? I, okay, I can't be the only one who gets this excited about this. I went to Target and I bought markers and post-it notes. And I was like a, oh, and um, regular markers, whiteboard markers, dry erase markers, and post-it notes and i was like a giddy little schoolgirl. i was so excited to write things on my post-it notes i was gonna say are you a child yeah okay and i see them in the mirror like in the reflection they're over here but i see them there and it makes me feel so organized i'm glad one of us feels organized does that make you anxious no makes me question what you're doing do you not understand my system why would i understand your system i've not like I have not inquired within. <laughs> Do you want to know my system? Not really, but I, I want to tell you okay. my system. Great. <laughs> so one color is membership stuff. Great. That would be green. That makes sense. The orange is the pod. What the hell was that? My phone fell out of my pocket. Oh, okay. The orange is podcast stuff. Great. Pink is YouTube stuff. Great. And then blue is workshop stuff. Great. So. If you were going along the colors that are promoted via what we do, why is blue they're, not the podcast? They're not correct at all. Wouldn't green be the podcast? No, all the promo slides, is blue? Oh, the thumbnails are all blue. Oh, the tie, yeah. Well, if you guys didn't know, <laughs> one of us is editing it and the other one is clearly not. So, Also, someone complimented my editing on my YouTube the other day and that made me so happy. Well, They okay. said whoever does yeah, your yeah, editing, they say, didn't know they, it was me. Yeah, they said whoever edits your videos, good job. It's me. I edit all of my stuff. Taylor edits the podcast. I don't do a single thing except the podcast. Yeah. For her stuff. Well, he does a lot of stuff. I do a lot of things not related to your those well you also do a lot related to the website that is not related to editing not really anymore kind of though you take care of the uh like putting the ad things and the yeah i guess email that's fair. lists and yeah i guess that's fair i, I, mean, do I that send side out of thing. the emails but yeah yeah i don't do 
the writing of the emails or anything. No, that's all me. No, that'd be funny. That would be weird. <laughs> Ghost writing is you the whole time. I mean, you could probably do it, but that seems unfair to the people. But I also don't talk like you. That would be so um, upsetting. I'm sure that happens a lot, but that would be so upsetting to find out. Like, you think it's me writing the emails and it's like literally like every Sunday I send out an email that's like either a rant or like a diary entry or like something to think about. (laughs) And you find out after years that it's not even me, it's Taylor. Like, that would be so upsetting. Well, we're here to say that it is not me. Um, but me. I heard diarrhea entry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> did I say that or did I say diary? No, you said diary, okay. but I heard... Because well, <laughs> I could have slipped. <laughs> no, there, it sound, there was a little bit of an ah uh, going into oh, the entry. Got it. Maybe it was me projecting it, Maybe. but, you know, manifesting it. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I don't, I'm not trying to manifest that. Um, I just watched Sex and the City. I rewatched it. How dare you? And, Taylor hates it. And uh, so then I went on to the movie and I'm in the first movie and it's when Charlotte um, gets sick in Mexico and she poops her pants. And I needed Taylor to see that. And luckily I was getting ready and he was right there. So he could hear that scene. I partially saw slash heard it, but um, fantastic. that makes me even more terrified that I'm going to Mexico. You'll be okay. So, yeah, I would uh, say your stomach is strong, but it's not. You oh, keep it's saying my stomach strong. is not strong. It's strong. strong now. Like your abs are strong, but you're you're weak when it comes to. Um, I am not. I don't know why you think I'm so weak. Because you're weaker than I am. I'm only weaker than you because I'm allergic to almonds. <laughs> no, no. Do I have to bring up Velveeta? I am fine with Velveeta. I'm okay. I am not fine with the. Every time I say fake. Hear the uh, other name for a donkey after it. I don't like the fake cheese, the fake... Wait, what? Wait, say that again. After you Every time I say, say fake, fake... A-S-S. Oh. I don't want <laughs> your fake cheese. I don't want your uh-huh. fake butter. I don't want your fake... Yeah. Uh, hold on, hash browns. I don't want any of that. And then you put all of that, like mountains of it, so, into a casserole that is from hell. No, it's, that no one should be able to eat. No one should ever be allowed to eat margarine, uh, like a a tub of margarine, a tub of Velveeta, a tub of sour cream, and like multiple bags of fake hash browns that are. Frozen. crumbled up and frozen no yeah. one should be allowed to eat all of that in one little serving that's so unhealthy it is it absolutely is but only only the strong know that no it's only a, it's a family tradition no only the people i didn't who make eat it I've horribly made it. it's carol <laughs> only the people that eat really bad are this, used to it. This isn't from Carol, though. This is a I long family tradition. I don't care who it's from. Change it. We talked recently about our favorite food from our grandparents. And I also have favorite food from my mom. And that is one of them, is cheesy potatoes. But you can't even call them cheesy potatoes because there's no cheese. There's no real cheese there's and there's no, no cheese real and potato. There's no potato. <laughs> so you're a liar. It's all fake. Okay, but then there's another one, and it's my dad. It was my dad's favorite dessert, and that's literally what we Ice call cream. it. <laughs> yes, but no, uh, we call it dad's dessert, and I don't know exactly what goes into it. So, mom, um, wasn't it ice cream and like? No, it's not ice cream. It's it's like Jello. It's like pudding, chocolate pudding, graham cracker crust, chocolate pudding, and like Cool Whip. But so you just like a it? pudding pie. Yeah. Mom, there's I'm going to need your help on there's that. A different Can you name. send me what you put in that? There's a different name for that one. I don't know what it is, but the that's also, that's just kind of like a, that's just like a dessert. That's not yeah. like a, yeah. you know, there's a graham cracker crust of desserts. That's like a key lime pie. Isn't that one with graham cracker? Which one's got the graham cracker? No, the um, banana one has the graham cracker crust. You couldn't put anything with a graham cracker crust. No, there's some stuff that would not go with a graham cracker crust. I made crust. a chocolate pie with a graham cracker crust. Then that's the same thing as your dad's dessert. No, nah, it didn't turn out very good. Well. It was fine. Well. It wasn't great. Well. 
pudding. Pudding sounds good. I don't think you can eat pudding. I don't think I can right now. But also, I'm trying. I'm trying to stay away from a lot of carbs. And gosh, everything I love is filled with <laughs> carbs. Everything, chocolate. I mean, come on, that's a no brainer. But chocolate, sugar, sugar, apples, sugar. What's the oh dates? Sugar. Oh my gosh! They all got sugars in them. Man. It, you can have so much, though. I can have a lot. Yeah. But literally, when I look back at things that I eat, yeah. it's everything I eat. But it's also not. It's, well, only it's, the things that, it's only the things that you're currently remembering that you ate, like right now. Yeah, which was everything. <laughs> <laughs> you eat so much that's good. The amount of peanut butter you consume is... Oh, my is... gosh. I eat so much peanut butter. <laughs> It's if you, ridiculous. If we had a pie graph of what she eats, it's probably like 60% <laughs> peanut butter. Have you seen how low that jar yeah. is? <laughs> it was like a week ago. It was full. Yeah. I'm pretty certain I opened that jar last week. I, you did. That's why I bought <laughs> two more from Costco. So Chelsea posted about her dog, Maui, and was like, gosh, life would be so great if you only had to worry about losing five pounds because you ate too much peanut butter. And I was like, honestly, same <laughs> But the peanut butter isn't the problem for me. Nope, it's not everything else. Of. Let's hope it's not the problem because that would suck for you. Yeah. It's not the problem. Oh, I was wondering what you were pausing for. I was trying to think of what else I eat. Dramatic effect? Yeah. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. My favorite little treat right now, though, because I do sneak in a tiny bit of chocolate. This is all my own doing. Yeah, it's, it's all, all self-inflicted. Yeah, it's all self-inflicted. It's all purely research. Um, but I put like two little chocolate chips on my spoonful of peanut butter. Mm, that's yes, you good. Do. I watch you do that and you're always like excited about it. And you're like, <laughs> do you want to try? I'm like, no, I know what a Reese's tastes like. I don't need to try it. I don't need to try it that way. Yeah, also, don't fair. don't tempt me with some peanut butter. I'll just go through the whole jar if you're not careful. Well, that's kind of what I'm doing. No, I'm like one sitting. You're going to be gone for four days. That's and like, that's, I'm just going to eat gonna, a whole jar. Of <laughs> you're going to blow through two jars of peanut butter. Not two. That would be excessive. What? <laughs> it's not excessive. I'm going for three days and you're going to blow through a whole jar of peanut butter. I'm planning my meals because I... When Taylor's gone, I like plan all the things that he doesn't like to eat. So I'm gonna eat Which is what? In and out for uh, one day. Yeah, I don't really like in and out. I'm gonna eat salmon. Great. And I don't hate salmon. I just don't like salmon often. Right. It's just so good. Yeah, it's just not as all I don't want it like all the time. Well like like I've been eating all of it so like max once a week is like that's you, you haven't wanted it in like four weeks. Yeah, but last time you made it, I was fine with yeah. it. With it, it, it was, was it was fine. Yeah. But anyway, I got a scheme. What else? Yeah, in and out. As I'm out, mm -mm, I'm out. I don't even need to go in. I'm just <laughs> out. I don't want it. I would rather have a lot of other things than in and out. What would be your favorite cheeseburger? Mm. Oh man, put That's me on the spot. Really tough. Uh, I really like Shake Shack. Yeah. Uh, I also really like Whataburger, but I haven't had Whataburger in a really long time, so I'm I don't know. I'm a huge fan of I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel about it. I'd have to have it again recently for me to be able to confirm yeah. that. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going to go with Shake Shack. Well, I don't really like Shake Shack's cheese, actually, that they put on the burgers. I don't really care for the cheese. I'm more interested in the- I don't remember the, the cheese. I'm more interested in the cherry peppers that they put on it. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, and I like that it's a squishy burger. I don't remember. I meant to look this up. If the first, Ch not Chick Fil A, uh, Shake Shack was the one in uh, the park in New York. Uh, I was gonna call it Great Park. That's not what it's called. <laughs> I almost called what? it Grand Central Station. That's all. That's <laughs> what I was gonna it? say too. What on earth is the park <laughs> called? This is embarrassing. We're not from New York. Oh my gosh! It's got to be a G, right? I don't know. <laughs> We sound, we sound so dumb right now. I could now. Google it. No, I got to find it. I'm going to find it. It is called People Central are, Park. That's it. That's yeah, not it's a good G. G. <laughs> it's Gentral Park. 
<laughs> yeah, there you go. I don't People think we're screaming at us right now. I don't know that anybody's screaming at us. Oh uh, I don't know what I feel like Central Park would be a weird one to be the first That's one. That's the first one I went to, and I think it was the only one when I went. There's zero chance that a company that's been around for a very long time. Only I don't know New York how location. long they've been around. Give me your phone. Mine's I on the floor. I can use my own phone. Okay, look that up for me, please. Um, hold on. <laughs> um, I I have a problem. This is completely unrelated to Shake Shack. Tell us something we don't know. <sighs> I well, actually, I have two problems. I just thought of another one. Because my bug bite just started itching. Uh, it is officially heading into summer because I got my first bug bites of the year. Shake Shack began as a small hot dog stand operating out of Madison Square Park in New York City in 2001 and grew into a gourmet fast casual restaurant with more than 377 locations, both dom domestically and internationally. So I'm positive between 2001 and like 2000. 15 when you went to no, New York? No, I didn't go when I was with you. It was before you. It 2013? Was like, yeah, 2012, 2013. I'm pretty sure after 10 years of being in business, they weren't still a hot dog stand. You're right, because I had a burger. Right. So let me <laughs> see about locations. Anyway, I got my first bug bites, and I got four of them all on my legs. Three on my left, one on my right, and it sucks. That sounds miserable. Mm hmm. And I don't know. Taylor made a good point. I went and ran around a lake yesterday, and he was like, You may have gotten them at the lake. And I was like, Ah, I didn't think about that. I was wearing shorts, I wasn't running fast enough. So in 2010, they expanded outside of New York City. Okay. Um,. So, well, in 2010, they added a theater district location, Upper East Side, and in Chelsea. It was also opened a location in Miami's South Beach, which is the first location outside. I wonder what year I went to New York. 2011, continued to expand in New York City with one in Grand Central Station and in JFK and at City Field. In 2015... They added 84 locations throughout the country and around the world. Today, there are 377 locations. There's a whole time of my life that I don't have the photos on my phone. And it's pretty much... When you switch to an iPhone? Before. <laughs> it's all before Taylor. So my phone only has from Taylor on because everything else is in either Google Photos or Dropbox. And I have not logged into that in so long. Well, you could... Probably get them. I'm pretty certain it was Dropbox. But all of those photos would be on there. I don't know what year I went to New York. Probably 2013. Something. I kind of want to say it was way earlier. I kind of want to say it was 2010. You, 2010, you were 17. I think I was 17 or 18 when I, I must have been 18. Yeah, you're just tossing around the US when you're 17. I mean, I'd already been to like a bunch of countries on my own. So yeah. Well, that was the big deal. When I went to New York, my mom, which it was crazy, I literally was like, hey, mom, can you drive me to the airport tomorrow? And she was like, what airport? And I said, LAX. And she was like, why? Where are you going? And I said, New York. And she was like, first of all, what? Second, who are you going with? Why are you going? And I was going with my friend uh, who is an Italian man who happened to be in New York. And I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go hang out with him for a few days. And she was like, what? And we were not like in a relationship or anything. We were just friends. And it was a great time. And I was safe and I had a fun time. And she was very freaked out, which I understand. I mean, I know Carol's listening, but Carol's freaked out to go to San Diego or LA now. So, yes, you this know, is true. that's but not like, really a good... Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. But I mean, I think any parent would be freaked out if they're like, "That's right, yes, kid that, is gonna go do that." Yes, that makes sense. But also, if they don't know the person at all, where they're staying, we stayed in a hostel. Like that's the only time in my life I've stayed in a hostel. Look, I don't know what type of people stay in hostels, but I ain't one of them. I bet you could tell by looking at me. <laughs> I'm not staying in a hostel. International people. Ain't no chance. What are you doing to I'm that? I'm taking poor apart thing? all these Legos. I don't know. We keep leaving them here and I keep figuring out ways to take them apart that and put them back like together. That looks like it's going to fly away. 
I was like that looks like wings. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I don't, I don't trust that staying in a hostel. I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't trust it either. But it was fine. It was fun. Yeah, no, I think, I think my cousin stays in hostels when she travels. The the weirdest thing is like it felt know. like we were in college because it's like basically a dorm and then there's like a restroom that you share with people literally not a single part of that sounds like something i'm gonna put myself into a situation with but like if you had to sure no just wouldn't go just absolutely would not go zero chance would i go being okay you're going to share a bathroom you're going to share a living space that anyone can come in and out of at any point in time your stuff is most likely going to be stolen it's a good idea but there are two types of people in this world there's There's people that stay in hostels and and there's there's me me. (laughs) you would not stay you are very much more along the lines of me you've stayed in a hostel sure now i i wouldn't but if i absolutely had to sure Oh, absolutely not. I will pony up and pay for whatever I got to pay for. Also, like there's Airbnb. There's so there's many so options many if you, yeah. Something else. But back then it was. Right. No. I know. And you just stay in a hotel like, a, like a normal person. I, I didn't have the money to stay in a hotel. Don't I didn't even a, pay for the hostel. You don't even I was stay just in a nice hotel? Yeah, that's true. You could stay in a real poopy hotel. You know I was way too young because I, all I knew about New York was from Sex and the City. <laughs> and I knew that Cosmopolitans were a thing. And Carrie Bradshaw used to drink them. And so I didn't know anything and I was not 21 yet. But we went to a bar and I had a fake ID and I ordered a Cosmopolitan. <laughs> and I felt so cool. Can I get a Cosmo? <laughs> You would have hated me back then. I did hate you back then. Yeah, thank goodness you didn't. Yeah, because you broke up with me. Yeah. Thank goodness. Yeah, thank goodness you're a changed lady. (laughs) God. Hardly. (laughs) Changed enough to not be that crazy person. But also, if we were if we were to have gone to New York and you ordered a cosmopolitan, I have a lot of chosen words, but I would have looked at you and been like, what the f (laughs) <laughs> I'm not say I thought it. you were gonna. Do no, it. I'd be like, w- no, uh-uh. I'd be absolutely not. I'd be like, this is wrong. I was like, do you even know what that is? I still don't even know what it is. It's a drink, vodka. I think that sounds right. Now I can. You're making me Google more it's things. So, it's pink. I know that. But I also used to oh, do well. It's vodka a, it's uh, Vegas. <laughs> I got a type drink. It's a hotel. Oh. In Vegas. <laughs> That I actually have stayed there and I liked it there. Uh, it is a uh, vodka, contro, cranberry juice, and lime juice. So it's a fancy vodka cranberry. Yeah, it's an orangey vodka cranberry or a citrusy vodka cranberry. Yeah. Or wait, no, con- con- contro is isn't that um that's almond? I think. No. I know I can't have one of those, and I think it's that one. Let me see. Let me see. Um, Contro is a brand of orange-flavored triple sec liqueur based in a city I'm not going to try to pronounce, France. <laughs> um, I don't. I swear that like that is one of the ones that has the ingredients with almonds. Maybe not. Hmm. There's one of the orange ones that I can't have. Okay. Really useless information for this. Not necessarily. I mean, it's not great Someone information. Someone else might be allergic to almonds and not know that. Well, if you're allergic to anything, read the damn labels when you're <laughs> going to eat or drink something. Don't just order it. But that would be hard with cocktails if you didn't know. Like, what is the you go, is you, the go, you, can't you go, hey, bartender, I want this. I'm allergic to almonds. Don't make sure there are no almonds in it. Now you have your Fair. answer. You don't just like randomly order stuff and be like, that's what I'm having. There's definitely no nuts in this. The one that I don't understand is like um, one of our friends is allergic to peanuts. And there are so many places like baseball games where there's just peanuts everywhere. And like the casings on the ground and stuff like that's so sketchy. What do you you not understand? Because you didn't really... 
Well, like he went to a baseball game with us and like made sure he was careful around it. But like, I feel like that's just very dangerous. There's a few establishments that do that, that you would have to stay away from, I would assume. There's a difference in an allergy to being around something and an allergy on consuming something. So if you're allergic to consuming right. the item, i.e. me and almonds, Ryan and peanuts, it doesn't matter if you're around them. I can handle almonds. I can do whatever I want with almonds. Don't eat it. Wash your hands if you've touched them. Ryan huh. is more allergic, so he won't touch them or be that close, yeah. but he's not that concerned with being, being around in the, it. Yeah, good. But like most of, the, most yeah. of the restaurants that have peanuts usually use peanut oil or peanuts in other stuff. So that then it's sense. kind of like he's not going to go there anyway. Right. Because that's way too close. That's like too much effort. Yeah. The two that I can think of, is that um, one of the bars in downtown Fullerton has that? Is it Heroes? Probably. Because the other one has the sandwiches. Heroes has the sandwiches. Really? Pretty Wait, what sure. is the other one? Heroes and... This is so boring. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was going to talk about the baseball game. We took our friends to their first... Well, I've been to baseball stadiums with a lot of people who have never been to baseball stadiums before. Recently. Yeah, that's weird. We took our friends to their first Dodger game. Yeah, because I was going to say, they've been to baseball before. Yeah, other not stadiums. Dodger, not, not, the, not real baseball, though. <laughs> they haven't gone to Dodgers, so wow. you haven't gone to real baseball. Wow, wow, wow. So they had never been to Dodger Stadium. And then I just went to my friend's graduation, and everyone that was there for her had never been to Angel Stadium. And I was like, what? Well, Angels have only been good for a very little smidge of time. That they've been in Anaheim. When they when they won, were they good like for a while leading up to that, or was that a fluke? Well, they won, so <laughs> I don't think it's a fluke. But like, was it a one off type of thing? Well, did they win again? No. Okay, I think that answers. Had your they question. won before? I mean, all the teams have won at some point. Now you're mm, making that's a lie. Now I'm, that's I'm not true. Pretty sure all the teams have won. I don't. I don't know. think so. I don't know, man. Angels. I don't think so. I have I have some love for the underdog. I like a good underdog story. I like some good old hard work. Well, they won in 2002. I thought it was 2001. The Angels won their first pennant and World Series championship in 2002. Oh. Um, let me go into the Wikipedia because we know we can trust this. <laughs> Uh, they changed the name. Well, they won the year after the Angels were sold from Disney. I remember that. I thought that um, was 2002. What did... Yes. Yeah, okay. They won after Disney sold them. Yeah, okay. Great. That well, it's, I'm like, telling that was you, a different time. No, they've won once. Oh. That's what I'm telling you. I'm trying to find if they've won any other times, but I'm not seeing those, <sighs> in, those that information. Gotcha. Um, I highly recommend anyone go to a baseball stadium. You don't have to love baseball. You don't have to even know what's going on, but it's very fun. It's very fun. And I would assume the same goes for any sort of stadium, like football, anything. Cause we went to a football game and it was very fun. Um, but I think it was college football. I don't think, like, I want to go to SoFi Stadium and see stuff happen there. The Angels have only won once. Okay. There have to be teams who have never won. There has to be. Probably. Uh, the Dodgers have won in 59, 63, 65, 81, 88, 2020. That's not that um, many. Sorry, also in 55. So 55, 59. Okay. Because it was Brooklyn, though. Right. That's when they, they switched. Right. Uh, New York has won. Oh, wait. New York Giants. Yeah. And then they moved to San Francisco. Oh, right. Okay. Well, so the Yankees are 23, 27, 28, 32, 36, 37, 38, 39, 41, 43, 47, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 56, 58, 61, 62, 77, 78, 96, 98, 99, 2000, 2009, 
2009. That's insane. 22? I don't know if I counted that I correctly I on my hands. I can't. This is just a Wikipedia list. I think so that you was 22 count. times. The A's have won. The A's have won one, two, three, four. After Moneyball. Uh, 72, <laughs> 73, 74, 89. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, Moneyball is such a good movie. The Phillies have won a bunch. The Pirates have won. San Francisco, the Giants have won a lot. The Cardinals have won a lot. The Rangers. Wow. This, do you know when the Stanley Cup? Uh, Mid-June. Okay, so nobody will have won yet when this comes out. I don't, I don't know. When is this coming out? June. Beginning of June. The oh, 4th. We're sure? How do you know? We have an episode for next week. Because my note says. Your note says that this is I, for next week? my post-it note says. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, but uh, Probably not. The hockey's intense. You're well, intense. I know. Especially when watching hockey. It gets crazy. My guess is uh, the Stanley Cup will be the probably the, the week of the 10th and the week of the 17th. Okay. I think, cause I think Ooh. it'll go, I think it'll go like every other day. And if I remember reading right, it has to be done by the 27th. Okay. I don't, because the new season of the bear comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I just remember reading that it's like the Stanley cup is between this time and this time or the okay. playoffs are from this time to this time. And it had like a cutoff date. I guess. I, I don't know. love watching hockey right now. Um, and especially when it's like in the playoffs, but they don't play enough. I'm super spoiled with baseball that it's like there's baseball every day and hockey. There's hockey every day now pretty much, but it's like, I don't know the whole season leading up. They need more games. They got to play more. It's every other day right now or no, it's every no, it's day. every day. Cause they switch off. Teams. Yeah. But the team that. We like the Rangers. Go Rangers. They better win. I really, really hope it's the Oilers and Rangers. That'd be sick. We might know by the time this comes out, but I don't think so. I, yeah, probably. It better be the Rangers and the Oilers. It better be. Yeah. <laughs> if it's not, darn. Mitchell's going to be so sad. I don't want yeah. Mitchell to be sad Maybe ever. Neither do I. Same. That would suck. Yeah. But... I, I would imagine that they can't play as many games because it's too hard on everybody's body. Getting slammed into walls all the time yeah. and, and doing that much cardio for an hour no, straight. The cardio shouldn't be a problem, but getting hit With that much. With how sweaty those dudes are. They're used to it. Don't look at me like that when they're that winded. They're used to it. When they go the, on for like two minutes. When they're that winded? No. They're fine. They're winded for like 10 minutes after they go on. I don't care. They're fine. They're used to it. They've been skating for long enough. I don't know that that's how that works. You've okay. been, you haven't been skating long enough that you wouldn't be able to do it. What do you mean? What do you if mean? If I had to do mean? two minute spurts of skating? Zero to 35 miles an hour back and forth for 30 seconds or for 90 seconds. Yeah. And slamming into walls and well, stuff. Well, no, that I don't do. So no, that you'll have to. Suck. You'd have to. Yes, but I'm saying they're used to it. I'm saying I don't think so. Oh, my goodness. The, okay. <laughs> Any professional hockey players out there, please let us know. Um, I got a better question for those, <laughs> those professional hockey players that aren't listening to this. Okay. What? Why are you so winded? Because it's exhausting. And you're the one fighting it. Yeah, because that's what they're used to. I'm not saying that they, they're not exhausted. I'm saying they could do it more often. I'm saying I don't think so. I think that that would be a detriment to the sport. All right. I think that they probably sure. play as many games as they should. I don't know how many ice baths they have to take, but I don't feel confident that you could keep up even remotely. Well, I'm I'm five foot two. <laughs> No, you just up. said that you could put your skates on and you could do everything that they do. Sands no, the hitting the wall. Saying. <laughs> You're saying you could keep up with it. You're saying you could do those spurts and you'd be you just fine. I'm saying if you made me skate for two minutes like that. Yeah, because a free mm. dance program. Okay, let's think about this. A free dance program. You were going to compare. Yes. <laughs> ice, ice hockey. Skaters, ice skaters will appreciate this. 
a program, a short program is two minutes, two and a half minutes. Why you got to discriminate it to be a short one? Because they also have a long program that's four minutes. <laughs> I know. Do you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So in your program, <laughs> you're, <throw> doing, <laughs> you're not just skating fast. You're doing turns. You're doing jumps. You're doing spins. You're doing a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, you should have been used to it, too. You shouldn't have sweat or be winded the amount of times you were practicing your short or long program. And if you were doing a long program, what? your short program should have been so easy. Yeah. But it wasn't. I didn't do a long program. Well, you should have. <laughs> and then maybe you'd have the endurance to do the short program and you wouldn't be so winded or 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 out of breath. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. I almost just had snot fly out of yeah. my nose. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see you do it. Heck no. <laughs> I'm not that type of athlete. I'm a type of athlete that goes for a run every once in a while. Oh my and by every once in a while, I mean like six days a week, five days a week. And then uh, I work at a computer standing or sitting, depending on the day. Yeah. That's my kind of athlete. Yeah. Me. Maybe I'll play drums every once in a while. Yeah, you do some. Yeah. But you're not doing sprints. They're doing sprints. I did. I'm not, I'm not the one comparing myself to ice Hockey players, you are. Yeah, I am. And you think you're better? I don't think I'm you're better. You're delusional. I'm, saying, I'm not saying I'm better. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, so now she's not. Now she's backtracking. No, now I'm she's going back on her word. Do it now. She's back going back on her word. Why do you think you have to cross train? Because the thing that you're doing, your body's very used to it. Mm -hmm, sure. You just cross your legs while you train, and then you're cross training. I'm done. <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought Thank you'd appreciate that. Thank you so that. much for being here. Um, we wrapping it up here yeah. for reals? Okay. All right. Why not? Right, that's fine. I can't handle you. You're ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> also, my legs are crossed right now, so I'm cross training. So am I. My toes are crossed. Okay. <laughs> you can't cross your toes. <laughs> <laughs> it, okay, sorry. My eyes are crossed. Cross your eyes. No. You, I don't even know if you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> that just was that one. You can do that? Yeah, I can cross one eye. I can cross a singular eye. Why did I not know this about you? <laughs> You did know this. Does it hurt? No. It looks like it would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> what about crossing an eye hurts? Why would that hurt? I don't know. It looked like it took a lot of focus. It took zero focus because you said cross and I said no and then I did it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Can Nicole. you look into the camera? And I'm do not that? I am not that I'm not putting wild. I'm not putting myself up to that side right. toward, but yep. yep. <laughs> If you would like episodes early and exclusives, please get the membership at glitteringcatlitter.com. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, share with your friends. Yeah. Goodbye. Okay, <laughs>